if you have money you can check the child said genotype before you give it to it so i can just abort it once it's essence <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Shidara Haka. In today's video, I'll be doing a live interview of Lagosians. I will be asking them what they would feel about getting married to a person with a genotype of AS when they just found out that they themselves have a genotype of AS. So this video is going to be more like a mini vlog because I'll be filming my whole journey. That is from when I leave my house till when I get to my location, which is Ikeja City Mall in Lagos, Nigeria. So let's just get to it. Okay, guys, so I'm on my way to the mall to do the interview, like right now. And I think I'm a little nervous, but why am I even nervous? I got this. I'm going now and I'm going to kill it. Yeah, I'm going to kill it. Yeah. I'm waiting for my mother to come and pick me up. I don't know this rain like i don't know why it has to be raining today of all days like i, I know i'm beginning to rise like right now but you guys just stay tuned and just follow me um okay so i'm currently in my uber right now this is beginning to seem like a vlog yeah about them yeah i'm actually enjoying this remember that my sister that sleeps 24 7 and eats everything like every single thing yeah she's wow. here with me <laughs> so this rain was trying to be a very big news as to me but then you know god day my god doesn't wear no flip-flops so we're still going to go because the rain has stopped this is me asking people questions people i don't know from anywhere and i'm supposed to act nice and respond to the answers normally i feel really weird about the kind of responses i'm going to get i hope nobody's rude to me though or mean to me because i don't know how i'm going to take that i certainly I look good. Okay, okay, you guys. I'm at the mall now, and I'm going to be entering any minute. And the mall actually has a lot of people. I didn't want to have this much people. I really thought that a lot of people won't come, but a lot of people are here. So <laughs> I don't know why I'm. I don't know why I'm nervous about this thing. Like, why am I so shy? Why am I so shy? I got this. Okay. I'm going in now and I'll just see you on the other side. Yes, I have been in the mall for like one hour now. I haven't even met one person. Like I am super 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 shy. I thought I got this but I don't think I do. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I got this, I got this, I got this. One eternity later. If you found out that your fiance has a genotype of AS and you two have a genotype of AS, would you go on with the marriage? No. No. I shall see. Unlikely, no. Let me say yes, I can go on with it. Very big no. You guys have been dating for like two years, like like going strong and you didn't even bother to find out, you just found out. I don't think I will. No. Depends, <laughs> depends on on the situation on ground. Why? For the sake of my children, I can't. Well, that won't be fair to my future generation. I studied biology in school, I guess. Mm, okay. Because you have to be careful when you're um to ensure that you don't get pregnant because you don't know if it can be SS or S. If you look at it, it doesn't really sit well you having to birth a child that is SS. You can't even deal with the battle that comes with it. If you have money, you can check the child said genotype before you give it to it. So I can just abort it once it's SS. I will even suffer taking care of the person too. So it's, it's better you don't just bring an SS person to the world. I can't be paying bills. The result is that the children may have the probability, may be SS, and you're just going to give it to a child who's coming to this world to suffer. So it's better not to go in that direction. Um, I can go ahead with it, but you know there are risks to it, um, giving birth to SS and all. It's very, very selfish because there's no how I want to enjoy and then bring someone that will suffer in this world. So, most definitely, AS and AS shouldn't be compatible. Sometimes. 
even though with love and all no it doesn't work it shouldn't work it won't work but if the love is too strong we move oh no love now you don't want to fight that battle for your child and you don't want your child to fight that same battle it's your hospital bills now so i'd rather not many of us feel like this is an easy question like okay definitely no 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 like why would i why would i but then when we bring it home and make it very realistic imagine this person is your mr right your mrs right this girl can cook this girl can clean she's a career lady she's working she's everything you've always wanted you already see her as the mother of your children you already see him as the father of your children and you have been waiting for so long you finally found someone and only to find out that the person had a different type of ears this decisions are not as easy as they seem because these decisions are not as easy it is important to find out the gravity of giving birth to a child that has sickle cell disease it is harder years of pain what is sickle cell disease some of us don't even really know what this sickle cell disease is all about oh if you oh the child is sickly okay what are the symptoms this child faces sickle cell disease is an inherited disorder of hemoglobin what is hemoglobin? Hemoglobin is the part of your red blood cell that carries oxygen. It is the oxygen carrying component of your red blood cell. When there is a disorder of hemoglobin, it causes the red blood cells to appear sickle in shape. These sickle shaped red blood cells easily rupture and go ahead to occlude blood vessels. Apart from that, they cannot effectively carry oxygen to different organs of the body. And because of that, there's a lot of pain pain because of the occlusion there's a lot of organ damage what are the symptoms that these patients face i mean it's not just about saying they are suffering what are they suffering multiple organs of the body of an individual with sickle cell disease are affected you cannot even start counting you want to talk of the eyes it's eye damage you want to talk about the heart it's heart injury lungs lung injury talk about the liver liver congestion the spleen splenic sequestration talk about overall well-being pain crisis there is fatigue the, the, the individual has anemia move on to the legs leg ulcers okay let's move on to the hands we have what we call dactylitis, which is hand and feet swelling. The skin is not left out. The yellowing of the skin, eyes, and mouth, which is what we call jaundice. The person is suffering inside out. It is a terrible thing to bring a child into the world that has... I mean, our parents may have done it during their time. They were not as enlightened as we are right now, but we are enlightened in this time and era. We cannot afford to bring a child with sickle cell disease into the world. It is not an option. If AS individuals get married to each other, they cannot afford to take the chance. They may decide to adopt, they may decide to do IVF, but say you want to take that chance and just give birth to a child randomly, no, you have a 25% child of bringing an SS child into the world. If you have money, you can check the child's said genotype before you give it to it. So I can just abort it once it's SS. It is true that the genotype of the embryo can be determined after about 10 weeks of pregnancy. But then, do we really want to do that? Apart from the fact that everybody cannot afford this process. You want to wait for 10 weeks to determine the genotype of your child. And if the genotype of your child happens to be SS, you then have to terminate the child. So you can imagine the psychological and emotional trauma of waiting and then having to still abort this child if the child has a genotype of SS. What if the lady now decides that she can't abort her child though? She's going to keep this child because 10 weeks is not one week. 10 weeks is quite a lot. Like that is more than two months. You're carrying the baby. Baby has already probably started to show. And then after developing feelings and all the whole bond with the baby, you just have to let the baby go because the baby turned out to be SS. The financial trauma, the emotional trauma, the psychological trauma, it is painful to watch your own child suffer for the mistakes that you made. That being said, I also asked the individuals if they know their genotypes. Because it's one thing for you to be saying, oh, I don't want to marry somebody that is AS. And I, do you even know your own genotype? So let's just see what they said. Do you know your genotype? Of course. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. I'm AS. I'm AS. Oh, all right. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. They, they rush me. Thank you. Please be 
make sure you share this video people need to know a lot of us know now but a lot more people need to know people that think this is a myth or whatever they need to be corrected as these are facts this is 2020 2020 there is no cure for sickle cell the only treatment for sickle cell is is management of symptoms you keep managing the symptoms it is life long the prevention is cheaper and way better than cure so it is better that before you get to know anybody when you start hearing ma talk more of marriage just check just go and just check as as no as ac no it's a wrap guys thank you all for watching please don't forget to subscribe if you liked this video enjoyed it or learned something give it a big thumbs up till next time bye Bye, 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 bye.